Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time, this is episode 34. What we're going to be doing today is finishing off the Spirit Temple for Death Nut. That includes... The boss. Yeah. What's going on with that? Was it a bat? I thought... No, it was a pot. I thought it was. That confused the hell out of me. <laughs> what do we need to do now? Right. Okay, okay, okay. Need to get sun in here. Somehow, we need to get sun in here. Noise. So we're leaving the room already, but we will be back. We'll be back to see you later. There's a chest in this room, eh? Ah, three hits. Where can we have had the Master Sword when we were little? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Why is there a chest on the... Let's have a look, shall we? Wrong one. There's a chest on the minimap, but not. Maybe it'll appear later. Come on, skulls. Two hits to kill a skull? Yes, it is. The other sword you can get in this game, by the way, is called the Big Goron Sword. And it snaps if you uh, use it too much. I think there might be a way to stop it from snapping. Maybe there is, but I don't know. I don't know how to do it. You get a little slate thing you do and take it up to the giant big Goron in Goron City. And you'll do it for I think you have to pay quite a bit of money. It might be more powerful, but... And you might have a bit more range as well. It's a huge sword. But... Meh. Meh. That's all I say. Here we go. Got sunlight back in that room now. Is there anything going on? No. It will be. It will be. Quite happy with how this temple has gone. It's, it can be tough if you let it be, I guess. Oh. If you get yourself really confused, it can be tough. Down we go! Down to a room we've been to a few times. The one with the weird snake woman. That's the one. What else do we have to do? This. We have to destroy her face. If you do that to any other woman, they're going to be pissed. <laughs> Thank God, this one can't do anything. Whoop, whoop. And we got the boss key just now as well. So, in we go. It's time for the boss. Ho, ho, ho. Looks like someone is here. Coom. Kumi? Coom. Hee, hee, hee. Looks like it. Kotak? Kotaki? Kota? Kotak? What an outrageous fellow he is, to intrude so boldly into our temple. <laughs> yeah. We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson. Oh, loyal minion! This is boss number one of the temple, by the way. Proper boss number one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you want to come it. So this intruder on our behalf. Right, it's like a tougher form of those guys that we were seeing before. You know what they are talking about. Iron hey, Knuckles, something strange. This is not an ordinary, ordinary enemy. It's not actually tougher. <laughs> I thought it was. Nah. It's a harder win Wind Racer, I think. You have to have a bit of reactive skill to Wind Racer. Oh, for I mean, for that to happen. We really need to have three fairies for the boss coming up. <laughs> and I don't think that's going to happen. Oh shit! That was just stupid. That was all my fault. We haven't got any fairies for the boss now. For the main boss. That gave us... What? It gave us full hearts, but then when we got hit, it took us down way more than we would normally be taken down. That's strange. Not an, ordi not an ordinary enemy. No. Because it's... Who? <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Oh my god, that's awful. 
Where am I? Nabuki? No, yeah. Well, well, looks like she's back to normal. Cool. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Kataki. Maybe we should make her work for the great Ganondorf for a little while longer. No! No. Then we should brainwash her again. Oh shit, the witch is on the road. She's dead. Dead. Okay, we're not quite done yet. So let's keep a move on. No minimap left. Where's the minimap gone? Strange things are happening. We want to go up there, but I want to have a look around the room first. I'm not sure if it's at this point, or if it's later on in the game, but at some point, you are going to have jars around the outside. Not now though, no. I got it wrong. If we die, I'm going to be gutted, but don't worry, I'll just bring us back here. Look at that stupid kid! He came in his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. Y yeah, that's what we're doing. Here comes the boss. Bosses. With my flame, I'll burn him to the bone. If you got the fire and ice arrows, this might be an easier boss. But... Nah. With the mirror shield, we should be fine anyway. My frost, I'll freeze him to his soul. What's fire's weakness? Ice. What's ice's weakness? Fire. Yes. Twin Rover, Sorceress Sisters. Love it. The only thing we have a problem with now is that we haven't got much health. Twin Rover, Kum. Gandalf's surrogate mother, Sorceress of Flame. She seems vulnerable to low temperature. Surrogate mother? Is that strange to anyone else? <laughs> oh shit! Let me up, let me up, let me up. Whoever's doing the spell, you want to lock on to the other one. So, ice is coming. That didn't work out, did it? Maybe we can just do it like this without locking on. That's easier, actually. Don't need to lock on. So we'll do it like that. They are not, they are not as hard to fight as in... The Oracle games. No, not even close. Ah, oh, shit, that was bad aiming on my part. Come on, you two. I'm just gonna stay here and take you off. Take you off. Take you on. Take you on, come by you. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, what the hell? What am I doing so badly? Stop locking on. I'm not trying to lock on. Just trying to turn the camera behind me. I always found this incredibly hard when I was little. Yeah, got it. Finally. If you stay in the middle, on the middle platform, um, you're, you're going to have problems. Because you've got to watch where both of them are. Oh shit, I'm falling down here. No, don't die, don't die. What the hell? Bloody game. Two sec. Okay, folks. I'm going to show you this bit of set. Just because I... I knew you could do this. I really do. <laughs> like me, I forgot that you had to... You had to be standing on that rock by the side like you just probably saw. I hope I kept this alright. And brilliant theories and stuff. So, wow! I, I'm so glad we found it. So, so glad. It'll make this boss a lot easier. So, happy, happy times. See you again in a bit, folks. Okay, let's let's uh, try this again. It looks like they're still flying around, so that's a good sign. Is it not? Uh, I don't know. Come on, an icy. 
What? This is not fair. I was... I had the shield out. Balance. Come on, Ice Fly over here. Okay. There you are. Yeah! I think you you have to start the witches again, obviously, if you die. It doesn't look like it, but... I think you probably do. <laughs> you missed completely. What? I was locked on. You cannot miss when you're locked on. Stupid witches. I know I said to stare on the outside platforms, but I think... I think I'll try on the inside as well. I'm glad we got a couple of fairies, that's, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> We're going to need them. <sighs> Come on. Yo, I see. Come back, fire. Nope. Okay. I have short peed off. I'm trying not to lock on, but it's not let me unlock. Hey. <laughs> this is where it might be good to actually have it on uh, hold. So you have to hold the L button to lock on. Or Z button. Whatever. Yeah, got her. We can't be far off now. I don't think we could be. This is only phase one as well. There's two phases. <laughs> I bet you're glad. 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 Oh, frick. Come on. Come on. Cast your spells my way. Yeah, got her again. <laughs> Those you bitches, why don't they just hide in places where they can't both be hit? have one growth at a time and they'll like, hide behind the wall or something. <laughs> Wouldn't that be brilliant? <laughs> okay. We know what happened last time we tried to just do that. Stay on the platform for too long. Yeah we got it after. Oh oh phase one done. Phase one done. Okay let's get serious now. Okay, Kumi. Double dynamite attack! Da da! Phase 2. <laughs> She's pretty. Not really, she looks like a tranny. Yeah. Can't quite remember what to do this bit. Right, fire. You, you're only allowed to let fire hit. I'm not sure if you can let ice hit, but you've got to have the same element hit a couple of times in a row. Hit the shield. So it charges up, and then you can get back. Let's have a look. Twin Rover, this is a combined form of attack and boom, boom. Turn the magic attack back at her. Fire again. Good. Yeah. Let's go get it. I wonder if the hammer is the better choice, but it doesn't really matter. We'll be fine either way. It'll get tougher as you go along. Oh, you can do ice as well, but well, that's good. You can. You can do whichever element you want, so you do this, you get hit by the same one three times in a row. By the looks of it, three times. I didn't remember it was three times, but apparently it is. Yay, ice again! <laughs> nice! What the hell? What the hell? That was not fair at all. I'm not staying locked on anymore. I'm trying to go towards it. Bloody women. Always cause trouble. <laughs> I do what? I don't do anything for that. Here we go again. Lock off. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. You're getting it. You're getting it, folks. I bet she hasn't got much health left. I wonder if it's based on how many times you hit her 
Or is it based on... Is it like an invisible HP bar kind of thing? What do you... What is it? I'm sure somebody must know. Ice again? Bloody hell. And... Ice again! Nice. Come on. Ah, I'd say one more time. I would honestly say one more time. Because we, we've hit her quite a bit. Nice. Nice and icy. Nice and icy. Ice again, please. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ice, please. No. If we've gone for fire, we would be ahead of ourselves by it. Ahead of the game. Ice, please. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. One more. What's gonna be? What's gonna be? What's gonna be? Yeah, that's what we wanted. Yes! This is an amazing part. I really like the banter. Shoot, what a fresh kid. This time we'll get serious. What? Hey, Kum, what is that above your head? They're not getting serious, are they? <laughs> I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Katak. They're going to heaven! That's quite surprising in his own right. But only 40, 400 years old. We're just 380 years old. We're twins! <laughs> you must have gotten senile. You can't see now. Is that how you treat your older sisters? We're twins! <laughs> I love this pig. Oh, bye. I'm back to haunt you. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you say so. Where's the heart container? There it is. So, the last heart container, like I was saying earlier. And now it's time to finish off our last temple. We're completely done with the whole temple section of this game. There's a little bit more left to the game. One more dungeon which you can go straight for as soon as you finish this temple if you want to. That's what we're going to do. But otherwise you can just go around getting heart pieces and stuff like that. Do whatever you like. It's you know, all about the choices. It's quite an open game in that sense. And she's the last sage, a character we barely knew in the game. <laughs> but I guess we knew her for seven years, technically. <laughs> I don't know. Look what little kid's become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Gandalf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the sage's spirit? And now, I'm going to fight them as one of the six ages. I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No, Link, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you the medallion. Take it. Our last medallion. I always wonder if it is actually meant to be the last medallion or not. Or if the shadow one is supposed to be, but either way, it's our last one for this series. And we're going to see in the next episode exactly why we need these medallions and why we've been going around the temples and everything. Nabuo awakens as a sage and adds a power to you. He does indeed. If only I knew you would become such a handsome man. Jesus Christ, every woman Link comes across. Ruto? Zelda? Nabuo? They all flirt with him. <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> no wonder there's so much fan fiction going on around this game. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. I think we'll do that now, even if this episode turns out a bit longer. There's a cutscene I want to check out before anything else. 
Down right, down right, left up. Down right, down right, left up. Down right, down right, left up. Am I doing it wrong? That's... <laughs> up right. Oh. Up right, up right, left up. Up right, up right, left up. Up right, up right, left up. Bloody hell. I think it's my, my controller. Because I am doing it exactly right. I, I promise. I'm not just making excuses. And we've made it for the last cutscene before we go for the final dungeon. I've been waiting for you, Link. It's Sheik. Hello again. Link, the hero of time. You've overcome many hardships on the weekend six sages. And now you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. And it's a hell of a showdown. I really like it. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. We haven't seen this sort of thing since the very beginning of the game, pretty much. Since we were young Link, at least. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well, the Triforce. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what's inside the heart. <coughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil, like Ganondorf made it. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. That would be much better. The Triforce, the sacred triangle. It's a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom and courage. Mm -hmm. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. And that's what Ganondorf is actually going for. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, Wisdom and Courage. That's what happened, actually. Ganondorf got to the Triforce while we were locked up and asleep and everything. But because he got to the Triforce and his heart was full of evil and everything, it split into three parts. One is the one that Young Link had which is Link now. One is Zelda's wisdom, so that's courage and wisdom. And the third one is power, which is Gandalf's. He's power. He doesn't necessarily have to be good to have power, do you? Don't have to be good to have any of them, really. Yeah. It's such a coincidence, though, that all three of them are char characters, people that know each other, and they're the ones that are picked by the Triforce. Seven years ago, Gandalf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. Yep. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty, evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. I am shocked! <laughs> and the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. <laughs> Sheik? How bizarre! <laughs> No, it's Zelda! Look at her! You can tell just by the bottom of the dress, can't you? There's gonna be a princess. That's sort of design we gave it. It's I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. If you play the Smash Bros. game, you know that. You know that Sheik and Zelda are the same person, anyway, all along. It's just a spoiler, really. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Impa, the one who's now one of the sages, which is quite a coincidence as well. I remember that day, back when I was a wee lad. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. I agree.
As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but... Something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands, who went on to invade the sacred realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the sacred realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. She had a lot of patience, I gotta give it her. And, now that you're back, the Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf the Evil King will end. Ah, hopefully. The Six Ages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I'll then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf the Evil King will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here's a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defences. The power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. Yes! If we got the, the, um, the Arrow of Ice back in Gruda Valley, this would be the last arrow. But we didn't get it. It's not going to affect anything, don't worry. Arrow of Light. This is going to be extremely important. It's going to be necessary, in fact, to complete the game. The last dungeon is going to be full of places where you need to use the Light Arrow. As well as the boss at the end. If you've played Wind Waker, you'll pretty much know how... Hold on. You'll pretty much know how the last boss sort of scenario is going to end. Except for a little bit. It'll be, it'll be different, but it's going to have similarities to quite a few other Zelda games. Oh no! Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. She should never have revealed herself until Ganondorf was actually gone, or, you know, until whatever's going to happen is happening. Oh, she's having a fit! <laughs> My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. Slightly underestimate? He's gone on long enough without, <laughs> without you being able to kill him. It's not the kid's power I misjudged, it was the power of the Triforce of Courage, if you say so. With the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, they now become the true ruler of the world. So he has power, now he has wisdom, with Zelda imprisoned. All he needs is courage. Why he doesn't just trap Link by you and get him straight away, you know? I don't know. I don't know how it works, really. I guess it's just because it's a game and they need to... <laughs> you know. So, what we need to do next time is head to Hyrule Castle, or what's left of it, the final dungeon, and save Zelda, kill the evil Ganondorf, and finish the game. It's not going to be all done in one episode, don't get me wrong. It'll take three episodes at least. At least. So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time, when we head to the final dungeon. See you in a bit, folks. <laughs>